Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday. Before we get into the candle review, I do have my trusty assistant Penny at my feet here and she's currently chewing on a Nyla bone. So um, I'm hoping it doesn't, um, you can't hear it on camera, but <laughs> if you do, that's what that noise is. Um, she is glued to my hip today and uh, it's just really cute. So uh, here she is. <laughs> Um, all right, so I have a candle review for you guys of a candle that was totally not on my radar when I recently walked into Bath and Body Works. Um, this is Hibiscus Waterfalls. I am not even sure if this is a new fragrance. Um, I'm not sure if it's a repackage from, you know, eons ago or even from last year. Um, I don't think that I've ever heard the name Hibiscus Waterfalls, but again, this is just not my normal type of candle. And so um, the reason that I actually picked it up in store was because I was like, that's such a pretty periwinkle blue glass jar. And so I took the lid off and I was like, this is really nice. <laughs> It just smelled so just lovely and fresh. Um, I had to pick it up. So here it is, and I've been burning it. And immediately when I first picked this up, the thing that popped into my head was, this smells like a really nice either bathroom or laundry room type scent. And the reason is that to my nose, and I'll tell you guys what the notes are, but I'll tell you what I sort of think immediately when smelling this. It smells like a really beautiful, clean, but slightly floral laundry detergent scent. Um, I, it just, it smells like beautiful, clean, floral laundry detergent. And so for me, immediately I was like, this would be lovely in my laundry room or our powder room downstairs. So that's where I've had this candle. So this review is basically based on how this candle is performing in a very small contained area. Um, our powder room, like most, is just, it's a very small room. It just has a sink and a toilet. And then our laundry room, I mean, it's probably slightly bigger than an average laundry room, but not by much. Um, so that's where I have been burning this candle between those two spaces. So when I talk about strength and throw, um, I feel like it's, it's gonna be a little bit skewed because I'm not burning this in like our open concept area. So keep that in mind. All right, so the fragrance notes of this are tropical hibiscus, sweet peach nectar, and fresh waterfall mist um, with essential oils, of course. Um, the reviews are not that great. And um, I feel like the reason is that um, some people are saying that it has an uneven burn. I, I'm not finding that. They say that the throw is very disappointing and probably in a larger open concept area, it, I would probably feel the same way. Um, but um, I really like this mix. <laughs> but honestly, really truly, this smells like a beautiful kind of high-end laundry detergent. Um, it does have that kind of clean, fresh, um, like ozone type note. Um, the tropical hibiscus, or I guess that hibiscus floral scent, just comes across as kind of powdery and soft and pretty. Um, in terms of um, this, peach nectar note. I guess there is a sweetness to this floral, but it's not a sweet candle. Like there, nothing about this makes me think fruity necessarily. Um, but there is maybe that little bit of like sweet peach type note, I guess, but it's, but you're not going to smell this and think it smells like a peach candle, if that makes sense. This is more of a floral combined with that fresh sort of um, I guess waterfall mist note, which to me comes off just as clean. It smells very clean. Um, it smells powdery floral. It, it smells laundry detergent. And I really like it. <laughs> I really 
really do actually, I love this smell. Um, now, I will say that the strength and the throw are not great um, because they don't travel beyond, in terms of throw, the throw is like a two or a three. Like, it definitely fills the laundry room and it starts to kind of waft outside of the laundry room or the powder room, but it doesn't travel much beyond that. Like, it really seems to be a small room type of scent and I don't know with this being like a laundry detergent scent that I would want this to even be in other areas of the house. Cause it just, it reminds me of like a soapiness. Like, so to me, that means I want to keep it in like a bathroom or a laundry room setting. The strength is probably like a four or a five, which is good because it's in a small space and you don't want something that's overpowering. But if you are getting this to put in a larger area, I think you would probably be disappointed because it is a very like understated type of um, strength. Like it's it's nice, it's appropriate for a small room, but it's not going to fill a larger space. So just know that <laughs> if you are specifically purchasing this for a small room, I think you're going to be fine is what I'm trying to say. But if you're wanting this to fill like a large area, I, it's not going to do that. For example, today we are in my dining room. Um, the light was just really good in here today. So um, it, I smell, I can smell it sitting like I'm right behind the camera here, like five feet away. I can smell it. But when I walk in here, I, I don't really smell much. Like it's very faint. <laughs> so... For that reason, I would say do not buy this if you are looking to have like a room filling scent. This isn't going to be it, I promise. <laughs> so that being said, I have not found an uneven burn with this one. Um, the wicks are the kind of funky like curling wicks where they want to like go in on themselves. Um, I'm just going to show you guys the top of the candle and you can see it's just starting to pull out here. Um, it's, I don't really trim the wicks on this. I've burned it multiple times now and typically just for like a couple of hours only because it, I do place this in areas of the house where I am not like actively going into. So I try to be very careful with my candles and try to keep them burning in areas where I know I'm going to be able to keep an eye on them. And I don't spend the bulk of my life in the bathroom or the laundry room. Like I walk in and out of those spaces periodically, but um, you know, like I like this when people come over. <laughs> we have guests and they're gonna be using the restroom. And you know, so for that, like is that that's a great purpose for this candle. But anyway, um, I feel like this review is a little bit like there's a lot of negative quote unquote negativity in it, but it really is a lovely scent. And I think if you are wanting this for a smaller space, I think it's very lovely, especially if you like florals and you like clean floral scents. But if you are someone who wants that traditional, like classic bath and body works strength and throw, which please name a candle where that is like the norm these days. I mean, the strawberry pound cake is pretty good, but for the most part, a lot of my Bath & Body Works candles that I've purchased recently, are not, they're not the same strength and throw as they used to be. They're not awful, but they're not the same strong candles that I've experienced in previous years. Um, so anyway, I hope this was helpful. Uh, have you picked this one up? What is your experience? I'll go ahead and link it down below. Definitely go read up other people's reviews. Um, really a lot of what you're going to find in there is, you know, that some people have been getting some uneven burn and I mean, maybe you could do that if you are not leaving it lit long enough, but I'm, I'm assuming most of these people that are leaving these reviews know how to burn a candle. Like you have to wait for it to obviously pull out completely, but if the wicks are bad, then it won't. But I will say mine has always pulled out completely evenly so far, but I haven't trimmed the wicks at all because they're, they're pretty short to start with. So I just kind of leave them and they're fine, but they do have that kind of curling tendency with them. 
And people are also saying that the strength and throw is just not that great. So yeah, anyway, um, for what it's worth, those are my thoughts. Am I gonna repurchase more? Mm, maybe. You know what I would get this in is in one of their like mason jar sizes or like the one wick, I guess I should say. They're not really in the mason jar style anymore, but it is not available in that format. Actually, hey, hang on. Don't, don't let me lie to you on that uh, search. I really think it just comes in that. Yeah, it just comes in this three uh, wick format here. So I don't know. I would definitely repurchase it in the one wick format if it ever came out in that because again, I'm just using it in like a small bathroom and really a one wick I think is a much better choice for a place for a small space like that. Um, but as far as purchasing more three wicks, probably not. I don't have any business buying any more candles right now anyway. So um, anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours down below in the comments. I hope you have a really great Sunday. If you're gonna ask me about this candle pedestal here, um, that one is now completely sold out. It's a, it's a Homeworks candle pedestal. There is a new tulip one, like white tulips that Harry released on QVC. I'll link that one down below if you're looking for one of these pedestals. But honestly, um, I'm not super impressed with the new tulips one. <laughs> I'm not gonna pick it up. Um, but yeah, this one was released last year and I bought several of them because I just thought it was so pretty. So anyway, uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.